I'm going to finish this brief set of webcasts on the quantum harmonic oscillator by looking at the action um, of the raising and lowering operators A plus and A minus on the eigenstates of the number operator. Um, now, in general, we assume that um, A plus acting on, let's say, the state N, um, that's the state of the number operator containing with an eigenvalue of N, um, that's going to equal some constant um, C uh, N plus 1 acting on the state n plus 1. Now, we deduced last time, actually, how um, a plus acts on n to give n plus 1, but we didn't say what the constant proportionality was, um, and in general that must be there. Um, we know that n, um, let me just recall this, and n hat acting on a plus acting on n um, is equal to n plus 1 acting on A plus, acting on N. Um, but that doesn't tell us anything about um, what A plus on N gives us. Um, it just it, We could have any multiple at all of N plus 1 in there, so we need to deduce that. Now, let's just um, note that we know that N hat acting on little n um, gives us N times ket N, um, and N hat acting on ket N plus 1 is equal to n, whoops, n plus 1, uh, ket n plus 1. Now, let's think about um, this first equation up here, which I'm going to label as number 1. Um, we can take the, we can contract that with the, um, the complex, the Hermitian conjugate of it, um, and that would give us bra um, a plus n ket a plus n is equal to square modulus of c n plus 1. Um, and the bra ket of the n plus 1 gives us just 1. Um, now, of course, we can bring the a plus out of the bra and show that that's equal to um, ket n, and we'll have an a minus, an a plus, and then a ket n. Um, I'm running out of screen there. OK, now we will do our standard trick, and we will substitute a minus a plus with a plus a minus plus 1, which just comes from commutator. Uh, so we see that we have bra n, uh, a plus a minus plus 1, ket n is equal to the square modulus of c n plus 1. Um, but we, of course, now know um, that a plus a minus um, is just the number operator. Um, so let's take this onto the next page just to finish the derivation. Um, so if we substitute there, then we see that we have bra n, we have n hat plus 1, uh, we have ket n, um, and that's equal to the square modulus of c n plus 1. Um, now we can act with n hat, the number operator on n, and that tells us that n plus 1 must equal the square modulus of c n plus 1. Um, if you can't see that immediately, then just um, split up the n hat plus 1, and you'll end up with bra n n hat ket n. Um, that should give you a little n. And then, of course, the bra n 1 ket n should give you the plus 1. Um, so that tells us that c n plus 1 um, is equal to the square root of n plus 1. Um, of course, there's an arbitrary phase there. Um, the square modulus of cn plus 1 is equal, to, is equal to n plus 1, so we can stick any arbitrary phase we like in there. Um, I'm choosing to use the obvious simple phase of 1. Um, and so now we can say that um, the action of a plus on the state ket n um, is to give us root n plus 1 on the state ket n plus 1. Um, I won't derive it here, it's a very similar argument, but you can show that a minus acting on n gives you root n ket n minus 1. Um, that should give you a reasonable understanding um, of the quantum harmonic oscillator uh, and how we use the operator notation um, to derive its eigenstates. And there are other videos which are available on uh, making matrices for different operators um, and how to solve problems using those matrices.